Good morning, miners. I'm your host Jake, and I'm Gus, and we're back with another episode of Ed Hughes. <laughs> this week we got two more days till spring break. Woo! You know what that means. Gus, what do you got planned? Oh, you already know, Jake. I got all the spring break stuff ready. I've been yeah. ready since day one. Yeah, like what? Um, you know, I always talk about spring break, but I never actually, <laughs> you know, do anything. Oh, well, I mean, maybe you can change it up this week. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see what Ed Hughes News has for us this week. Good morning, Liners, and welcome back to Ed Hughes News. I'm Megan, and let's get right into news with Trent. Spring fling pictures are now in the finance office. Come pick them up before school, during lunch, or after school. The CLYLP program applications are due April 11th. The workshops include leadership skills, academic preparedness, self-esteem, and cultural awareness. If you have any questions, please go to the Student Services office. Students, if you lost any items this semester, please check the attendance office for the lost and found pile. Hey Miners, if you're interested in the Navy or in the Marines, there will be an informational meeting today. If you're interested, please sign up in the Student Services office. If you are interested in signing up for online summer school, please visit the Student Services office. Hey students, after spring break, hats and beanies will no longer be allowed and dress code will be enforced. If you did not attend the Academic Awards Night, please go to the Career Center during homeroom on Friday to pick up your award. Thanks, Trent. And that's all we have for you this week, Miners. I'll see you after spring break. Bye! Hey, guys. So, uh, you're a pretty good student, right? Uh, yeah, I would like to think so, Jake. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, good GPA? I would, I would say so. Yeah. Uh, handle people pretty well? Oh, yeah, great with people. Cool. Do, I mean, do you plan on going to college? Yeah, yeah, I would love to go to college. Then, uh, why aren't you in ASB? Oh, you, you, I do not even compare with those people. They're always working, man, 24-7, seven, seven yeah, days a no, week, Yeah, no, we see them all around campus. It's insane. Well, let's see what they have for us this week with Minor Insight. Hi, my name is Parker Boswell. I'm a junior here at El Monte. I'm running for ASB president. You should vote for me because I'm the only one running for ASP president. Something really cool about me is uh, I can do the Rubik's Cube and I play Kendama like every day. My name is Braden Iscliff. I'm a junior at LD. I'm running for ASP vice president. You should vote for me because our current vice president, Jocelyn, said that you should vote for me. Um, a cool thing about me is that I've been to 34 states and four countries. Hey guys, my name is Ronnie Dillon and I'm running for your ASV Vice President and one thing I ask is for you guys to vote me on Friday for your ASV Vice President. I believe I'll do a lot for LD and bring some spirit here to LD Green Sea. And a cool fact about me is I drive a Maserati. So vote me, Ronnie Dillon, for your ASV Vice President. Good morning, miners. My name is Nurland Ali. You might know me as Noor. I'm running for ASB secretary. I would love to run. Uh, I would love to be your ASB secretary because I think I'm very organized and responsible. Something very interesting about me is that I can talk in four different languages and I can even talk while sleeping. Thank you. My name is Ramon Liao. I'm an 11th grader and I'm running for ASB secretary. You should vote for me because I have a lot of great ideas that could help benefit our school. Um, something cool about me is I've been to 21 states and four countries. Vote for me. My name is Rajan Bath. Um, I'm going to be running for ASB treasurer next year. And I'm currently a sophomore. Um, a reason why you should vote for me is because Miners are green, I bleed green, and money is also green. And uh, a fun fact is that I'm going to prom with Michelle Cook. It's your boy, Income Tour. I'm a junior currently. I'm running for ASB Treasurer, y'all already know. We gotta get them stacks, baby. I'm a hard worker, I'm very dedicated, and I'm probably the best publicity commissioner this school's ever had. I'm an up and coming rapper. You guys can follow me on SoundCloud at YoungCam, Y U N G K A M. Hi, my name is Yana Carranza. I am a sophomore at 
El Monte and I am running for spirit commissioner. I think you should vote for me because our school could really use the extra spirit and I feel like I can really contribute to that. So vote for me. Hi, my name's Lynn Stanley and I'm going to be a sophomore this upcoming year at El Monte. I'm running for the ASB spirit commissioner and I think you should vote for me because I have the most spirit. <laughs> One interesting fact about me is I get injured in every sport here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Carson Ferrer and I'm running for ASB Spirit Commissioner. I'm in 11th grade and um, you should vote for me because I'm on the cover of the yearbook with the green afro and uh, something cool about me is I bowl the perfect game. Hi, I'm Delila Chavez. I'm running for Spirit Commissioner and the reason why I'm running for Spirit Commissioner is because I'm a really happy soul. I love hanging out with people. I love spreading joy everywhere and I like cheering on at football games and uh, I just think I'd be a really good candidate for this. And something cool about myself is that I, I am in swim and in dive here at LV. Hi, my name is Carmen. I'm currently a sophomore and I'm running for ASB Corpus School Commissioner. And you should vote for me because you can count on me to get you all the information on what's going on. And an interesting thing about me is that I play tennis and dive. Hi, I'm McKenna McCorby and I'm running for Publicity Commissioner. Um, you should vote for me because I'll be posting every day. And one interesting fact about me is I like to dance. Vote for me. My name is Cody Obara, running for rally commissioner. I'm a junior. You should vote for me because you don't have any other choice. I'm the only one running. And uh, one cool fact about me is that I set a school record for goals this season. So Jake, you know those uh, sport kids are really always up and at them. Oh stuff. yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Always busy. You think they ever uh, take a break? I don't know. Breaks? Uh, breaks? You guys think we take breaks? This is year around. The grind does not stop. Yo, yo, whoa, yo. Liza, it's, it's not that serious. No. It's, no, we're just checking in with sports. Let's see what they have this week. Good morning, miners. It's a beautiful day. The sky is blue, the grass is green. Isn't it just a regular day? No, Jake. Today's a happy day. At least for me it is. I guess. Anyways, miners, let's go check out some highlights. The varsity softball team has an away game at Mount Whitney tomorrow at 4.30. The varsity tennis team lost Wednesday's home conference match against Redwood by a score of 0-9. The tennis team also lost Monday's match against Lemoore by the score of 0-9. Last Friday, the track team had an away meet at Redwood. Unfortunately, Redwood won that meet. Be sure to wish the track team good luck at their next meet at Exeter. The varsity baseball team lost Monday's home game against Garces Memorial by a score of 7-1. Be sure to go support the boys against San Joaquin Memorial tomorrow here at home. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Valley Oaks Golf Course, the golf team has a match against all seven schools in league. The swim team has a meet tomorrow, home against Redwood. Be sure to go out there and show your support. You know what, Jake? I'll just show you how to have a good day. Okay. See you next week, miners. You know, guys, the way I see things in a couple days, warm sands, waves, beaches, wing stop, spring break. Spring break. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Yo, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Netflix and hours and hours and hours of filming entertainment. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's lame. Yeah, it's, that's it's super it's lame. It's really yeah. sad. No, uh, yeah. the way we see it might have something else in their vision. Hey, miners. It's Kelly. Welcome back to the way we see it. The winner of last week's photo theme contest for senior year is Isaiah Zamora. Please report to Jiraki's room to claim your prize. Yearbook would like to congratulate all the past winners of the photo theme contest. And if you haven't done so yet, please go claim your prize from Jiraki. Thanks, miners, and have a great day. Hey, uh, Gus, you've been arrested? Yes! Let's, Let's go, go to entertainment! entertainment. Oh! 
Alabama. Alaska's coming to. Oh, jeez. He is hauling. I think he's going 56 or 55. Let's go get him, Philip. Do you know why I pulled you over? You done fiddled. Hey man, I'm really sorry, officer. I I done fiddled? What? You don't question me, son. I'm an officer of the law. Sir, how many freezes have you had tonight? I'm just, just the one, officer. Yeah. Sir, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. I didn't do anything. Please step what? out. I didn't even do anything. Get out. What don't do I do? Us, sir. Come here. I didn't do it. What, what's happening? Wait, what is, what is happening? I didn't even do anything. This is. Okay, I didn't do anything. Shut up. Hey, I'm not like Richard. Shush your mouth. <laughs> you want to just leave me here? With me? <laughs> Let's go. Now you stay here. We'll be right back. Be right back. Let's do it! They've been waiting for a second chance. Waiting for their country to need them again. That time is... Meow. Farber, can I get a radio check? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's like we never left. Guess what time it is. Student Spotlight. Let's see what's happening. Hello, my name is Gabriel Munoz and I am a senior here on campus and I am ASP president. How I became ASP president, my freshman year I didn't feel very involved, felt very far away and distant and sad and I just wanted to be a part of the school, I wanted to help other kids, I wanted to have more friends, people that were close to me. <clears throat> So I joined ASB my sophomore year, I became sophomore treasurer, and then my junior year I became rally commissioner, and then my senior year I'm ASB president now. My favorite part of being in ASB would have to be the fact that we're all like a little family and we all love each other and we fight all the time but then we're happy and we hug and it's just really fun. <clears throat> and we're not only a family with each other but we consider the whole campus to be our family because we all want to be included and to be one and be a part of ASB. So. so if I were to give any student advice here on campus, it would be to encourage not only yourself but each other around you to follow your dreams and make sure you support your friends because that's really important when it comes to going through hard things in your life, personally and at school because school can get really hard and it's better when you have support of your friends, family, and teachers around you. Yo, Gus, I heard a uh, creative company was doing something this week about being yourself. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's kind of hard nowadays to do that with so many people, like, mislabeling. No, yeah. Yeah, no, I, judging. I, I, yeah. I, I understand. Yeah, getting on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No, but people shouldn't be afraid to just be themselves. So let's check in on creative company and see what they have on that. It doesn't matter what people think or what people say, just be yourself. Just be honest, work towards the goal, be yourself and you'll achieve it. Being yourself is not trying to be someone else. Is trying to express and have faith in yourself. Hey 
Hey Jake, how you been holding up since like, you know, you haven't been on Clips of the Week for like a few weeks now? Uh, pretty good. I got my Clips of the Week tattoo removed. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow, uh, look at that. And you know, Giselle, she's... She's there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let's kick it off with Clips of the Week to see what Giselle... Jake! Jake, stop! Jake, stop! You're gonna get in trouble! Hello Miners! Today we are covering meme news. Angela Guadalupe Mora Salvador is on site with our latest story. Morning Miners! I'm here with this young man, Jonathan. How are you today? I've never been on live television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the, sh I don't watch the news. That's great! <laughs> yeah, and apparently I only went down the super slide. When I went down the wall, I was scared half to death. All right then, back to you, Giselle. Thank you, Angela. Our next story is with Sweet Brown. Take it away. So, what happened? Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop, and then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. Are you okay? And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Great to hear that, Sweet Brown. Giselle? All right. Our last story is with a young man who has some interesting beliefs. Let's take a look. So, sir, do you believe in aliens? Oh, oh yeah, yes, sir. Definitely. Where did you see them? Or not Arizona. What was it? Yeah, it was Arizona, right? Air, that Air Force One where they found all that stuff. That's crazy. I got pictures of Aurora. I've seen grave sites. They're out there, man, and I, I'm flying in the plane. I'm always hallucinating, but who really knows what I'm looking at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. What? Gay? Giselle, do you believe this? Who knows, dude? They could be made of water. I don't even know. I don't know what to say about this. That's all we have for this week, miners. Deuces. Gus, uh, what's in the box? Let's find out, Jake! Well, let's see, we got, uh, text messages from my ex saying that she doesn't like me still, okay? Oh. Cool. Um, we got a rag. Huh. Uh, okay. actually, wait, I think, oh, I think this one's for you. For me? Well? Bertha! Oh. Hey! No! What? No! We'll, we'll stop! This later. Wait, let's find hold out. on. Let's find out what's actually in the box, Miners. We'll settle this. Hello? Next. Stop. No Bertha! Bertha, 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 stop! Bertha. I'm hosting, please! What's in the box? What's in the box? I have a little surprise for Jace. Yeah. Can I look? No! Oh. Stop! <laughs> oh! I didn't Stick see it. Stick your hands through! Okay, wait. <laughs> I can't feel it. Is it in there? Yeah, it's, um, go a bit down. What is that? <laughs> Ew. Why is it gross? <laughs> yeah. Ew! Is it a tomato? No. It's not a tomato? No. Wait, what did I just squeeze? <laughs> what is this? Keep guessing. Is it, is it a vegetable? No. Is it a fruit? No. What is this? <laughs> Try tasting it. <laughs> it's a tomato. We went with the same theme here. Carter! <laughs> Carter! <laughs> Carter! <laughs> That's your hand, I know it. No, okay, okay, go. You can't look. You have to guess what it is. Okay, so this is a cup. Is this silly putty? I am so. <laughs> is this 
this oranges? <laughs> this is oranges. You have to is keep it? guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you look. I win. I win. You lost. <laughs> are they old? Oh, they're, ex they? they're expired. I can taste it. I wanted to eat it. What's in the box? It's the box. <laughs> <laughs>is in the most lit place ever. Tell this me, Jake. Week. Where is she? She's in, where is she? She's in Las Vegas, and baby! You know what that means? <gasps> Viva, Viva Las Vegas! Hey, hey, hey! Viva, 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 Viva Las Vegas! Good morning, miners. It's currently 7.40 something, and I'm at school. It's Vegas day today, and I just came to take a test.
five. Because the pair, when you look at it, it like goes out. Pale. Uh, you say pear? Yeah. No. Half an apple. The apple logo. <laughs> I'm gonna forget you said that. Um, a full apple. No. <laughs> half an apple. What looks the exact same? The half moon. The other half moon apple? Whoa! This girl's good! You're looking at it, and what looks just like it? The other half? That's right. <laughs> what has four wheels and flies? Four wheels and flies? Uh, a car from Back to the Future. <laughs> Close, no. <laughs> four wheels and flies? A bee. <laughs> No, I just, does that mean a B? It means like they've... Yeah, I'm asking you, Presley, aren't I? I'm asking Andre. I was thinking the same thing in the airplane. Not an airplane. Did you say a fast car? No! It's a garbage truck, because they have flies, little, bzz, little flies, good smells. You guys are... What has four wheels and flies? Probably a garbage truck. Ain't it? That's all we got for you this week, Miners. Have a wonderful spring break. Make safe decisions. Make sure to pick up your trash. If you don't pick up trash, you're, you're trash. trash. Make sure to follow all of our social medias. And thank you to Golden West for keeping our Twitter lit. Woo! Spring break! See you guys in two weeks. Woo!